what else amazes me about this young lady, Niola? She's already thinking about how she can bring her solution to her country, Nigeria, where air pollution is a leading cause of death, more than malaria. I want to get this into other places, not only America, because I believe that other countries also deserve a chance f um, for better air quality. And I'm starting with Nigeria because um, that's my parents' hometown. She has written to Nigerian authorities requesting an invitation to discuss how her filter could benefit Nigerian schools. Now, I hope the Nigerian government has responded, but if not, what's taking so long? And can we get this video to the attention ASAP? But here's why this matters, right? Not just for Connecticut, but for the entire world. In a time where schools everywhere are struggling to deal with everything from COVID to RSV to good old fashioned flu, Inyola's solution is cheap, it's effective, and it's scalable. And let me remind you again, guys, she is only 12. Now 12 years old, Inyola's goals go far beyond air quality. I'm going to become the first African-American female president because I also want to inspire other kids like me who have big dreams. I just want them to see that you can do anything you put your mind to. And let's also take a moment to highlight the importance of investing in STEM programs and getting children exposed as early as possible. You see, Iniola attended a STEM academy. And that experience didn't just sharpen her math and science skills. It shaped her outlook on what's possible. It showed her that real problems need real solutions, and she could be the one to create them. Imagine what our world would look like if every child had access to that kind of learning and encouragement. So what's the takeaway from today's episode? Well, if Iniola can do this at 12, What's stopping the rest of us, right? Let's start building solutions. Let's start fighting for safer spaces. And let's believe in young people because clearly they are ready to lead.